Friday night. The work week is over and I am really looking forward to having a full weekend after the last few manic weeks. I did come home today to a delivery that arrived in the mail so I thought I'd show you this now and then probably just a few snippets of the evening. We are planning to go out to dinner once everyone gets home and I am really looking forward to just being able to relax a little bit tonight, come home, maybe edit yesterday's vlog <laughs> and then knit. I can't wait to sit and knit. I feel like I haven't done almost any knitting this week, which is not true. I did finish a pair of socks on, I think, Monday night, perhaps. I can't remember which day it was now, but I might show you those as well because they are finished and that is always exciting to have a new finished object. But I am really keen to get a little bit more done on my advent socks with the rainbow and sprinkles yarn. I am really sad that the Cozy Knitter yarn hasn't turned up yet, which means that I will end up seeing spoilers this weekend because I am so looking forward to sitting down and catching up with my friends' vlogmases. A lot of my friends are doing it this year and I caught up with um, Mad About You this morning as I was getting ready for work. I caught up with my friend Crystal Knits, uh, formerly Books, Hooks and Yarn, if you have found her before and then there's so many others to watch so I can't wait to see them and see what their December is starting out like um, yeah it's going to be a good weekend I'd also like to decorate for Christmas this weekend so we'll see if I can balance relaxation with decoration I guess that rhymes <laughs> And we'll see how far we get with that as well. So it's Friday. I hope you've had an amazing day. This will probably go up sometime on Saturday at this point in time, but that's okay. I am being kind to myself. I am not putting too much pressure on getting these out at a specific time each day because I work full time and because I clearly have other things happening in life um, there will be times when the episodes or the yeah episodes won't go up for a day or two and I think that's fine I will post when I can post and I hope that you enjoy the content that I provide for you if there is anything specific that you would like to see please feel free to leave me a comment I'd love to know what you enjoy about vlogmas I personally love seeing the back behind the scenes stuff I want to see where you live I want to see where you work <laughs> I want to see what you do in those long hours where we wish we could be knitting because <laughs> there are a lot of hours that I wish I could be knitting where I am not so I assume a lot of you are in the same position as well so yeah, I'll show you my mail. Let's start with that. Then I might spend a little bit of time editing yesterday's vlog before everyone gets home and we head out to dinner. And we might need to get on to opening some advents soon too before it gets dark today, hopefully. So yeah, I better stop rambling. I feel like I've tried to sign off about three times now. <laughs> I may or may not get a chance to speak to you again though. Um, we'll see how the evening pans out and I will show you those things I've promised to show you now. <laughs> I was excited to come home to a delivery today. This is a mystery box that I ordered, um, gosh, I think it was in October. And I ordered it because this was the November mystery box from Rainbow and Sprinkles. And November is my birthday month, so I thought I would get that. So there's a rainbow sheep there. We have rainbow needle toppers, and I do love the needle toppers by Rainbow and Sprinkles. They're just so handy. A really cute pair of scissors. Look how pretty they are. Can't wait to try them out. And this was the special November yarn by Rainbow and Sprinkles, all caked up and ready to go. The convenience of these caked up um, cakes are really quite good. However, I know that I'm terrible at putting a lot of my orders into stash. 
and don't get to these as soon as I would like to. And I sometimes worry that because they're caked up, that could be bad for the yarn, but I'll get to this when I can. And it is so pretty and it came with a mini as well. So that's a really beautiful color. Let's see it with the main color. Oh yeah, that is really lovely. Look how pretty that is. Now I also wanted to show you my latest finished object. And these are my spooky socks. So they are done. And I love how they worked out. These were knit with the Crazy Cauldron set, I think it was called, by Moon Glow Yarn Co. And it was a main skein, which is the grey, the dark grey, and seven minis that I striped down the leg and then repeated the same, the same, oh goodness, the same stripe sequence down the foot of each sock for a matchy matchy pair of socks because if you've been here before you know I like my socks to match <laughs> and I've left my uh, progress keepers on here from October that I made out of polymer clay because these were my October spooky socks but I finished them towards the end of November which is okay they're done they're gorgeous they will get a lot of wear. <laughs>